Gil Napet has spoken of the future king's close relationship with his grandmother, which blossomed from a very young age. The Queen Mother is said to have encouraged Prince Charles' kind and gentle nature and his love for music, but it was when Charles and Anne's mother, Queen Elizabeth, became absent and busy with her tireless royal duties the pair's relationship was cemented, writing in Charles Prince of Wales. Ms. Knapp had said, Prince Charles and Princess Anne, confined to a sheltered childhood in the nursery and schoolroom of Buckingham Palace and regime led by nannies and governesses, were inevitable close as they grew up. Particularly in the early years of her daughter's reign, the Queen Mother had filled the gap when Charles and Anne's parents were absent. The new queen worked tirelessly her royal duties having to take precedence over her young family. Charles' closest relationship with a grandparent was with Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, who adored young children and was happy to indulge in them. When his parents were away, he often visited her at Royal Lodge in Windsor Great Park. She gave the young Charles hugs encouraged his kind and gentle nature and introduced him to the world of music and art. Princess Elizabeth as she was known, gave birth to Charles Prince of Wales and Anne Princess Royal. At the age of 25, before she was crowned queen in 1953, it was nearly 10 years later before the couple welcomed their two youngest children into the world Andrew Duke of York, and Edward Earl of Wessex. The Queen's approach to motherhood has often been compared unfavorably with that of Princess Diana who took nine-month-old William to Australia and New Zealand when she went there with Charles. The Queen Mother died aged 101 on March 30, 2002, and it was a huge loss for Prince Charles. Ms. Knapp had said he was filled with regret he wasn't with his beloved grandmother on the day she died. She said, although he had seen his grandmother just two days before he set off for a long planned skiing trip to Closters, he minded desperately that he was not with her when she died. In a touching tribute to the Queen Mother, Prince Charles fondly described his grandmother's utterly irresistible mischievousness of spirit. He also reflected on how she had served the public with panache, style and unswerving dignity. Broadcast from his home in Agrave on April 1, Prince Charles revealed he would miss her laugh and wonderful wisdom both of so much experience and of an innate sensitivity to life. Thank you for watching.